coming up Halloween cosplay and 3D printing. So Halloween is our favorite holiday here at Adafruit and this year we're collaborating with Philip Burgess and Aaron St. Blaine to come up with another epic Halloween project. So let's check it out. Inspired by the Ant-Man movie, Aaron's going to be the Avengers character, Wasp. Phil B scanned Aaron's head with an Xbox 360 Kinect using Skinnect 3D scanning software. And with a one-to-one -one scale, Pedro was able to design features around her 3D mesh. Combining primitive shapes, build up the helmet, and solids were saved just in case any adjustments need to be made. The helmet is split up into three main pieces so that it's more manageable to 3D print, and this avoids using support material. Parts fit on a large bed like the Type A machines and the Ultimaker 2. It takes about 10 hours for each piece, so having a battery backup and a fresh spool of filament really helped ensure the successful print. A few iterations were based on test fitting to make sure that it's comfortable and wearable. Pockets on the edge of the part allow you to insert wooden craft sticks. This helps join the parts and keeps them aligned. E6000 adhesive will permanently bond these joints together. The tolerances will vary, but they press into place with a bit of force. It's also easy to trim the wooden sticks instead of sanding the pockets, which could risk breaking the parts. Assembly is pretty easy and straightforward. The face guard is slightly squeezed into the lining of the helmet, and it's secured in place with friction and then glued in place. To add lighting effects, we used an Adafruit Trinket microcontroller and two NeoPixel sticks. The NeoPixel LEDs can be mounted to the inside of the helmet, above the face guard near the eyebrows, while the microcontroller is secured with gaffer's tape off to the side. The face guard diffuses and spreads the light, making a really nice effect. It's actually easy to see through the face guard and the helmet is really lightweight. The helmet is of course available to download and modify if you'd like to 3D print your own. All right, so there you have it. For more details about this project, be sure to check out the Electronics Halloween blog post linked below. Also, be sure to check out Adafruit's Halloween playlist for more project ideas. But until then, be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a safe and awesome Halloween. I'll see you guys next time.